Oh yes, your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is September 15th, 2020. Shout out to my man Gaston Cruz for this one right here. DJ J Skrilla, faith in my money. Thanks for this one, bro. I really appreciate it. And I'll actually be on Gaston Cruz's Bit Active Crypto Podcast virtual meetup next Thursday. That's September 24th. So make sure you guys check me out over there, 7 p.m. That's going to be a lot of fun. Sign up and RSVP for that one. That's going to be cool. But shout out to him for this song request again today. What's good, people? Hope everyone's doing well. And welcome to another episode today. We're looking at, yes, micro strategy. I told you guys about this company uh, maybe about a month ago. It's a Fortune 500 company. They went all in on Bitcoin. It bought, I think, like a quarter million dollars worth of Bitcoin at that point. Well, guess what? They just bought another $175 million worth of Bitcoin. Someone is waking up to the fact that this uh, money printer go brr ain't going to stop, right? So <laughs> Bitcoin and cryptos are only going to appreciate over time for sure. And then also Bitcoin having this very big reversal pattern, the biggest in history, possibly. We're going to take a look at what news BTC says about this. It's looking good on my end. I don't do these reversal patterns and all that stuff, but I'll show you the technicals here in a second. Why I think we're in a very strong position for Bitcoin to continue to hit higher. And then this one is an interesting situation here. Let's look at Sushi Swap which is trading under two dollars now literally down 22 percent today trading a dollar 91 but what's interesting and why why i want you guys to pay attention to this because this is crazy weird stuff going on they're doing a 14 million dollar or 14 million token buyback proposal i think it's going to actually pass but this is bullish news for the token it shouldn't cause a sell-off unfortunately that's what happened maybe some of these amateur traders don't know what they're doing but i'm gonna give you the scoop on this whole situation a buyback is simply taking uh, coins out of circulation so to me that means prices should go up not go down again we'll take a look at this tweet uh about this why the price is going lower i have no clue but maybe that's an opportunity for you all three articles coming up on today's episode of my two satoshis let's get it but before we start, if you guys find these types of videos informative, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to receive more videos like this. And don't forget, before we get started, we are going to do another Telos giveaway, 1,000 Telos coins in two weeks. So make sure you leave your Telos account name under any of my videos, and I will definitely do a random pick live. Just click that link in the description below and follow the instructions and download that wallet to get ready for the giveaway. Telos is a sister chain of EOS, which means it runs on its own blockchain, has its own native token, but shares many of the qualities and advantages of running the EOS IO platform, but they have much better governance. So again, this is why I'm promoting them. This is why they're backing me, because I believe in the project, believe in the blockchain, and it is really, really undervalued right now. So check them out, Telos. Net. And we got the heat map today. Bitcoin up 1% right now, trading at 10783 bucks. That's pretty good. Although the altcoins not looking so good. Most of the altcoins are down today. Look at Ethereum down 2.2%, trading at 368 bucks. But Binance token down 8.3%. What is going on over there? Ontology is down pretty heavily today, but it was up the other day. So that's normal and expected. Litecoin, however, is up slightly, a third of a percent at $49.04. But look at Link continually bleeding out. And I think these are good levels to buy Link, be honest with you, because it's a quick 2x from here to its high. Uh, essentially once the markets turn around fully i think it's going to lead with bitcoin this go round unlike the last wave we had up where the altcoins led i think this go round bitcoin is going to lead the rally and when the altcoins catch up all these coins are going to be substantially higher in price so look at this as a cheap discount if you have dry powder if you don't that's the problem if you don't have any dry powder there's nothing you really can do all you can do is wait unfortunately so that's why it's important to have some dry powder on the sideline ready to swoop up some of these tokens but check out this chart what did i say about this support line here at 10,600? well guess what 
it held twice we saw it actually bounce off of there once and two times there that to me is very bullish so at this point I think we're just going to continue to head higher and test the now the next level to test really is 11,188 bucks somewhere around there and this is based off the coinbase bitcoin versus us dollar chart on the hour chart all right so so far looking good i'll keep an eye out on it for you and speaking of bitcoin let's take a look at what they're saying may be the largest reversal pattern in history it says the asset thus far has held strong confirming both former resistance levels and support but at the same time the leading cryptocurrency by market cap may have also confirmed the largest reversal pattern in its entire history so when bitcoin they say first slammed head first into twenty thousand and immediately fell over eight thousand dollars to trade at twelve thousand dollars days later it was then clear that the reversal taking place was done the blow off top has still yet to be retested and thus far makes the most significant confirmed reversal left behind on bitcoin's price charts and a full 40 percent movement in the pattern from top to bottom so nearly a full year later bitcoin then collapsed to its current bear market bottom of three thousand two hundred dollars which i told you guys back then on our way down when it looked like there was no hope i said we were not going to go lower than three thousand three thousand was absolutely the floor and guess what thirty two hundred is where we had a capitulation moment but after months of consolidation forming yet another reversal pattern occurred the ascending triangle at the assets four-year low had a full height of just 30 percent yet caused the cryptocurrency to rally 300 percent from its low this new pattern the reversal pattern is an inverse head and shoulders so that's very bullish so let's take a look at what they're saying with in regards to that basically they said the last two reversal patterns were significant but they pale in size in comparison to the potential inverse head and shoulders pattern forming on the weekly time frame when you have a reverse head and shoulders on a weekly chart that is extremely extremely bullish long term so this could be promising news for us guys so i'm going to zoom in on this so you can see the inverted head and shoulders right here this is the area of the chart where they're talking about and if you look all the way to the left where that red line is that's our ultimate high of twenty thousand. so this is very good news i'm telling you guys look out for that i just want to give you a heads up on this reverse pattern and that's the inverted head and shoulders pattern which i'm very familiar with but again i don't look at time charts on the weekly that's way out there you got to be a really really patient so i don't normally do that but again that is significantly more bullish than a head and shoulders forming on the one hour chart but next let's take a look at what is going on with sushi man sushi down trading at one dollar i'm gonna do a refresh one dollar and 88 cents can't believe i'm seeing that number thank god uh most of my holdings are in the umami squid liquidity pool so i'm not getting hit hard by the price drop in sushi i do have about a 70 30 split between umami and sushi so i do have about 30 percent of my assets that i have in this pool in the sushi party pool so it's getting hit kind of hard but not as hard as if i had more allocated to that sushi party pool currently still serving up about 3.13 tokens every thousand dollars you had put in a day so still not bad we're talking about 17 percent monthly for sushi party and 16.8 percent monthly on umami's party sounds like yo mama <laughs> yo mama's part <laughs> yo mama's party uh but yeah those are still crazy returns and you know where can you get that in traditional markets absolutely nowhere so i'm not complaining but god the price of sushi has taken a beating down 22 percent today and we look at a 14 day chart it's kind of just flatlined over the last few weeks but let me explain something to you why i'm just confused about what's going on so ox Mackey, which is a uh, leader in the community for sushi kind of took uh, more responsibility after chef nami kind of stepped away but he's talking about this buyback that's being proposed and i saw some more areas in the discord room talking about this and i think this is going to actually happen you you have to understand what this means as i stated at the beginning of the video this means a shrink in the supply of tokens outstanding tokens so 14 million to be exact sushi has currently 111 million tokens outstanding so that's just shy of 14 percent right why is the price of sushi heading lower 
I have no clue. I think this is a good idea for a bullish stance on this token. Like I think the price of this token should be going up on this type of news. Maybe people are confused. They don't understand what's going on. But I will say one thing to watch out for when it comes to sushi and expecting the price of it to go higher you got to keep an eye out on this supply okay it's at 111 percent so for it to get back to ten dollars that will give it a market cap of about one billion dollars and you know i don't know if that's really going to happen guys so keep that in mind don't look at solely the price people like looking at the price of yearn and saying wow thirty-eight thousand dollars a token but guess what there are only thirty thousand tokens available so it doesn't look as as grandiose when you factor in the max supply of this token so that's something you have to completely understand and, and put in there when you're looking at the price of any asset not only just cryptos but also stocks and stuff like that i think this is a good move for the price of sushi to head higher how much higher i can't say i'm not saying it's going to ten dollars anytime soon if the decentralized movement the DeFi wave really starts to pick back up and we increase our market cap from where we are now 14 billion maybe double this 30 which i think we will be by uh first quarter of next year i told you guys that on a couple of videos ago i think we'll definitely be around 30 to 40 billion dollars in market cap but with that being said if that happens yeah you can see sushi at uh ten dollars you know you can see a lot of these tokens significantly higher in price because as the market swells and grows as this market cap right here grows so will this pull up as well and be pulled up a lot of these tokens will be pulled up in value right so that's how you got to keep it kind of keep that in mind but let's take a look at what microstrategy a company i reported on about a month and a half ago who bought 250 million dollars worth of bitcoin at that point well micro sailor who is the founder of microstrategy said on tuesday his company has acquired an additional 175 million dollars worth of bitcoin wow he said on september 14th microstrategy completed its acquisition of 16,796 additional bitcoins at an aggregated purchase price of 175 million to date we have purchased a total of 38,250 bitcoins at an aggregated price of 425 million dollars inclusive of fees and expenses this is big news guys and i think you're going to start seeing I actually reported on one other company that did the same thing another company i think out of canada possibly can't remember but their traded company in canada they did the same thing they bought bitcoin as a literally as a strategy to protect their assets this <laughs> this is insane man and i think you're going to let definitely see more of this occur in the near future that's it let me know your thoughts about that if you were the ceo of a company would you and how much would you allocate to bitcoin as part of your strategic hedging strategy i don't know i mean <laughs> you know a lot airliners do it all the time with fuel you know oil they hedge in the futures markets um but would you or and how much of your entire cash reserves would you put toward bitcoin let me know in the comments below and shout out again to my man gaston cruz for the song request dj skrilla faith in my money make sure you guys like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this i'm out of here people Holla. you are asking for the biggest bell